Someone, we need help. There's an armager injured on the road outside Seydanin. So much blood. They, they need help. I'm not exactly sure. The buoyant armager was accompanying Canon Valasa on a mission for Lord Vivek, but something terrible must have happened. Canon Valasa sent me to find help. She's on the road just outside of Seydanin. Will you help them? Forgive me, Outlander, but I have enough to deal with. I'm just a simple tribunal priest, and the trouble at the ancestral tomb was too much for even our buoyant armager to deal with. I have failed, Lord Vivek, and left a colleague alone at the tomb. Lord Vivek sent the three of us to seek guidance at the Andrano ancestral tomb. We were attacked when we got there, and our guard was seriously hurt. I barely got her to safety. But we failed to complete the mission Lord Vivek bestowed upon us. Canon Levoul. He remained behind after we retreated from the tomb. I know he wants to get back inside and ask Lord Vivek's questions. But there's no way he can get past the Daedra or ask the questions on his own. May the three grant him wisdom. Harrison, what's wrong? Someone help! By the three! First a wounded armager, now this! By dawn and dusk, evil creeps through the shadows of my beloved Vardenfell. But an outlander arrives to aid my people, just as I have foreseen. Those words... what do they mean? What? What happened? Merciful Azura! The Mother Soul spoke through you! It's a miracle! Lord Vivek, protect me! That was Azura, the Queen of the Night Sky. And you, she spoke directly to you, Outlander! I'm surprised the Daedric Prince would risk Lord Vivek's wrath to proclaim a prophecy. But she did say you were here to aid us. The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that woman and spoke through her. I've heard of such occurrences, of course, but to witness such an event... She said evil creeps through the land. I wonder if it has anything to do with what we saw at the tomb. We sought guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific questions to ask while Levul concentrated on summoning his ancestor. The Daedra ruined those plans when they fell upon Urnsi and we were forced to flee. Vile creatures from oblivion! You hear about an odd ghost or a nest of vampires, but never Daedra. Please, if they're still there, they'll rip Canon Levul apart. He's definitely not a warrior. Just look at what they did to the buoyant armager. The buoyant armagers comprise one of the military orders of the Tribunal Temple. They seek to emulate Lord Vivek's deeds through actions and words. Poor Urnsi. Those monsters went straight for her. Her blood flowed like lava from Red Mountain. Where are you from? Children learn of Red Mountain before they even taste Flynn. The mountain sits at the center of Vardenfell, periodically rumbling like a sleeping Nyx shaking its leg. Lately, however, it seems to be waking from its long slumber. Azura is the cruel but wise Daedric Prince of Dawn and Dusk. She's one of the good Daedra, for what that's worth. But for her to speak through an innocent means something terrible is about to happen. Why else would she dare Lord Vivek's wrath? What do they teach you where you come from? Lord Vivek's a living god! Azora is merely the anticipation of Sothasil. Vivek stands as the present and the future, while Azura clearly represents Vardenfell's past. So no. They don't get along. We sought guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific... Lord Vivek, protect me! The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that one. You don't know Lord Vivek. One of the living gods of the Dunma Tribunal. 
You must be new to our land, Outlander. But there's no time. Canon Levour remain behind. He needs help if he's going to get inside the tomb and ask Vivex questions. Yes, one of the god monarchs of Morrowind. He's the warrior poet who lives in a grand palace in Vivex City. Lord Vivek sent us on this holy mission to request information from Canon Levoul's ancestor. It breaks my heart that I have failed him. Those monsters, it's too dangerous, what? Did Canon Valasar send you? Oh, she did, didn't she? That means she made it to Sedanin. Vivek, be praised. Will you help me complete my mission? It would be sacrilege if I don't enter my family's tomb and make Lord Vivek's inquiries. As the saints declare, the tribunal always provides. We'll need to be cautious, however. Daedra invaded the tomb. Makes it hard to talk to one's ancestors while monsters try to eat you. I'll also need your help when we reach the summoning chamber. Take this scroll with Lord Vivek's inquiries, while I summon forth my ancestor spirit and concentrate on maintaining the connection. You must ask the questions. He insists we use the exact phrasing. We can go inside when you're ready. I've already lost precious time due to the buoyant armager's wounds, but I suppose a few more moments won't make the volcano erupt or the moonlit fall from the sky or anything. <sighs> what else can I tell you, my friend? I'm not quite sure, and it wasn't my place to ask. When your living god gives you a task, you say, Yes, my lord. The questions seem to involve the time before the tribunal, which I assume is why we must ask them of my long-dead ancestor. A few of my contemporaries can boast of a luminary such as Farana Andrino occupying a prime branch upon their family tree. Lady Farana studied at the feet of Sothaseel and was counted among his companions before the tribunal rose to power. Who's Sothaseel? <laughs> it's like asking who are Vivek and Almalexia. They are the tribunal, the living gods of the Dunmer. Sothaseel is the architect of time and the binder of oblivion. If you want to know more, we can talk after we've finished. Well, I can tell you why they weren't here the last time I paid my respects. Canon Valasar thinks they're some kind of Daedra, determined to keep us from fulfilling Lord Vivek's will. Until you showed up, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Before we go in there and face those monsters, I want you to know how much I appreciate your aid in this matter. Just don't lose the scroll that contains Lord Vivek's questions. Now come. Let's call forth my ants. Follow me, but keep an eye out for those Daedra. Careful. The creatures attacked as soon as we entered the Hall of Remembrance. Yeah. 
This used to be such a peaceful place. I came here as a young acolyte to meditate. We're nearly there. Then we can summon my ancestor.
summoning chamber. I'll call forth my ancestor, then you can ask Vivek's questions. Hasn't my rest been disturbed enough by those filthy Daedra? Why do you summon me, descendant? My Lord Vivek has inquiries that only you can answer, my lady. My companion will present them, with your permission. The warrior poet? Very well. Ask Vivek's questions. Ask the warrior poet's questions, Outlander. Ah, Lord Vivek always had a way with words. Tell him to rest assured. The heart remains safe. I wonder why that concerns him. Ask the remaining questions, as my time here is short. An enemy of old, yes. But not the one that Vivek presumes. Sotha Seal imagined multiple scenarios and contemplated endless solutions. He even experimented with his divinity, drawing energy to study before returning it. Loss will come, he foresaw, but not until the collapse of the temple. Now, back to sleep. I hope that's what Lord Vivek needed. Let's talk outside.
Thank you for helping me complete my task. Now, I need to return to Vivek City. Have you been there? Oh, it's amazing. Ziggurats rising out of the water, the moonlit hanging in the sky above. Hey, you should meet me there so I can introduce you to Lord Vivek. Oh, just between us, I understood neither the questions asked nor the answers received. Oh, not that I expected you. Some things aren't meant for mortal minds. That's another... Excellent! Uh, I just need to make a quick stop in Seydanin to check on my original traveling companions. When you get to Vivek City, head right to the palace and I'll meet you there. I know that. I'll be along shortly. When you get to Vivek City, head directly for Lord Vivek's palace. Of course. As I said, the tribunal consists of our three living gods, Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil. They lead us in spiritual matters and rule over Dunmir society as god monarchs of the Dark Elves. I serve Vivek, but honor the... Unfortunately, no. The Dunmer houses bow to the tribunal, but the savage Ashlanders refuse to acknowledge their divinity. The heretics never allowed themselves to be assimilated into the great houses. Instead, they hold to primitive superstitions.
Outlander, a word. By order of the deputy governor of Sedanine, which happens to be me, the lighthouse is closed until further notice. On the other hand, I seek an outlander who's willing to do a little work. I need someone without ties to the area to look into a matter for me. It seems the lighthouse was broken into. The flame was extinguished. As a result, a ship crashed along the shore. There were fewer bodies than expected, both living and dead. I suspect slavers were involved, which means they had help here in town. I find that unacceptable. Discover who doused the lamp fire. They'll lead us to the slavers. Question Delms, who was on duty that night. He's in the lighthouse. I need to check in with the overseer. His workers are searching the wreckage, and I want to know what they've uncovered. By the time we were alerted and had organized a response, precious moments had been lost. We rescued a few, but mostly we found those who were drowned or were crushed on the rocks. Even so, it was nowhere near the numbers a ship like that carries. It was just a typical sailing ship from the mainland. I suppose it carried the usual complement of cargo and travelers eager to reach our verdant shores. I don't believe that such a vessel would make the trip without filling its holds. Damn slavers. Ever since our agreement with the Pact went into effect, slavery has been outlawed throughout most of Morrowind. But all we did was drive the slavers into the shadows. This whole stinking event has their bloody fingerprints all over it. Here, and in all of the territories controlled by the great houses that support the Ebonheart Pact. If you stray into Telvanni or Drez territory, though, the practice remains strong and vibrant. Hence, my current troubles. It was just a typical sailing ship from the mainland. I we are just a small outpost along the bitter coast, but I like to think of us as the gateway to Vardenfell. From here, Vivek City and the other inland locations are easily accessible. Governor O'Melian is in charge, although I contribute as necessary. No one's allowed up here. She asked you to... an outlander? Isn't it enough she stuck me up here to guard the flame indefinitely, but now she's looking for help outside the house guard? <sighs> what else can I expect after what happened the other night? Finden sent a barrel of his finest ale for Watch Captain Bethes' birthday. Powerful stuff. One cup, and we could barely keep our eyes open. The entire regiment was knocked on its collective arse. When I came to my senses, I saw that the fire had gone out. Look, 
Once I heard the crash along the shore, it was all I could do to get moving and raise the alarm. Cherish's water loves to loiter near the lighthouse. Maybe she noticed something. If you're intent on doing your job, you should talk to her. Dirty foot coverings are contaminating my pond. So direct you are. It makes my tongue wither and the answers dry up in my mouth. Go and bother someone else with your parching questions. Now you insult me. I'll have you know I can take care of myself. Since you mentioned it. I have noticed that my favorite pond has become somewhat stagnant. I bet if we had some Vindin special blend, my throat would moisten right back up. Vindin collects it from a secret location where the sea meets the swamp in perfect harmony. Contains just enough salt to nourish my scales without drying them. You can buy it from him or fill a bucket yourself. Then we can talk. I am a free egg sister from Black Marsh, here to make a business and prosper. No one told me that business was going to be so difficult, though.
Please, Vivek! This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek! We don't need the help of this... Outlander! Oh hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness. And this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. Step forward, friend of Lavu, and let us speak. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Cannon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my Archcanon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say, and I say we need your assistance. Find the Archcanon in his office, and he'll tell you how to proceed. The Daedric Prince? I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura, though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain, Strange Daedra, and then there's... well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Levul's ancestor assured me that a source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guess ripen in the mind and only speak when the fruit grows certain. I require more information on these matters, hence the need for the divination ritual. Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you, but who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work? Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the Overseer that Lord Vivek requires the Blessing Stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well, go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch cannon of a living god or anything. Ah, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. The Blessing Stones serve as repositories for small amounts of Lord Vivek's power. They allow his favor to permeate sanctified locations. We need such a stone to power the divination ritual. If you haven't guessed yet, the phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek's power in unusual ways. 
It will be safer for everyone if I perform the ritual by using the Blessing Stone instead of drawing on my Lord's personal store of energy. Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Lord Vivek's senses eclipse those of mere mortals. Suffice it to say, he feels a disturbance in the flow of energy throughout Vardenfell. He seeks to discover the source of that disturbance. Lord Vivek sees signs and portents everywhere. It's the poet at his core. I tend to be much more pragmatic. Sometimes a volcano is simply a volcano and not a harbinger of doom. As for the Daedra, I have no idea. Perhaps the summoning got out of hand. This project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. Our Blessing Stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our Blessing Stone? Well, neither do I. But I'm sure it won't put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to disagree with the Arch Cannon, but that's a terrible idea. Lord Vivek, well, why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. The passage that leads to the Consecration Chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be... Here. 
thought I was gonna die under there. Oh, thanks for saving me. Thank you. I'll go tell the Overseer what you did for me. Please be back. The Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site, but you were able to save a few of the workers. Lord Vivek always draws the straightest arrow from the quiver. Praise the Tribunal. Did you bring the Blessing Stone? Reveal the source of Lord Vivek's distress. An Ashlander? A clockwork mage? A Daedric cultist? Something interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research. Between the cryptic warnings of the ancestor spirit and the unexpected result of the divination ritual, I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We solved the greatest mysteries by accident, I suspect. I should write that down. We learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something, at least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no, not as much as I hoped. Images that suggest avenues to investigate, riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god, an energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. Listen well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. 
whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, gratitude before service, as I have written. So thank you. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. Something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office, and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. If not, I know his earlier research indicated new avenues to investigate. Go where he tells you, and learn what you can. My divine energy diminishes with every passing moment, but the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated. Yes, while Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the Tribunal, and recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however, despite his narrow-mindedness. I've always used my power freely and without detriment. I create the blessing stones, hold the moonlit above the city, and perform a hundred miracles a day to benefit my people. I begin to feel the toll this liberal application of divinity costs me. I care little for my own safety, but my people are another matter. Without my power to stop it, the moonlit will crash into the city and kill hundreds, perhaps thousands of innocents. And that would be just the start of Vardenfell's woes. At first, I barely noticed the loss of energy. But as I continue to grow weaker, the more it feels like an attack against my person. Besides, the Ancestor Spirit confirmed that an ancient enemy was to blame. We just need to determine who, before... Let us not dwell on disasters to come when we have problems enough to deal with in the here and now. Consult with Archcanon Tarvis and discover the source of this attack. Then we can put an end to it and not worry about what might have been. They always chide me about my flagrant displays of divinity, but so far... I am the only one of the living gods whose power is fading. Almalexia hoards her energy and has barricaded her temple against attack. As for Sopha's seal... My brother... travels. We have not heard from him for quite some time. But I sense that he remains safe and in possession of his full power. Funny. He always wanted to discover the limits of our divinity. Perhaps I will solve that mystery for him.
I performed that ritual countless times, and it never exploded in my face before. If I discover that you sabotage the divination... No. I shouldn't take my failure out on you. It's not your fault that things are... difficult. How do you know about... Lord Vivek told you? Of course he did. It's his prerogative, I suppose. You must swear to keep this secret, though. There would be panic in the streets if the people believed one of the tribunal was incapacitated. It's true. I'm much better at scholarly pursuits than field work. And the ritual wasn't a total failure. It confirmed three locations from my earlier studies. Balmara, Aldrin, and Berazar's Tower. I need you to investigate each of these sites. I researched what I could using the resources available here in Vivek City. To learn more, I need an agent to personally assess each location. Lord Vivek thinks you're the best one for that job. I hope he's right. I believe the mage seen in the ritual is Berozar, who works out of an ancient Velothi tower. His experiments radiate energy similar to Vivek's affliction, but they're not a perfect match. Find out what he knows about the transfer of divine energy. House Redoran controls the town and nearby mines. House Halalu also has interests in the region. Rumors of a cult in the area concern me the most. I believe we saw a cultist during the ritual. Make discreet inquiries and see what you can learn.
I have no idea. That's why we're sending you. I suggest you start at the inn. Secrets get spilled along with the drinks in such places. The miners may know something as well. I've heard that House Redoran has issued some kind of proclamation. Savage Ashlanders, like the one seen in the vision, use the area as a tribal meeting ground. These nomadic heretics deny the divinity of the tribunal and have no love for Vivek. But how they could be... I traced tendrils of Vivek's energy to these locations, and the ritual confirmed the connection before it went awry. Just don't discuss Lord Vivek's condition with anyone. We don't want to start a panic. If anything changes here, I'll contact you. Would you be so kind? Ah, that feels much better. Now that's the proper way to ask a question. As a matter of fact, I did notice someone near the lighthouse that night. You keep asking the wrong question. I did not see anyone that night. I felt them. They made ripples in the water. I felt them stop by the tree that overlooks my pond. Then they moved off towards the lighthouse. Look to the tree, moist one. I prefer my waters to remain still, calm. Crying causes ripples, and ripples lead to more dry questions.
Would you be so kind as to move along? You're disrupting the current. Talk of gods makes my scales itch. If the living gods really cared, they wouldn't make me suffer. Now take your religious foolishness and peddle it someplace else. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to look around. Keep it down. We don't want to attract undue attention. But what happened? I thought I was supposed to go to the drop. You didn't come all this way just to give me my reward, did you? Already? Let me see. Oh, it's beautiful. I love working for the Tribunal. It's so much better than trying to earn a living as a thief in Vivek City. But where's your helmet? I've never seen an ordinator out of uniform before. Oh, right. We're not supposed to talk about ordinators in the Tribunal in such a public place. But it feels good to be doing holy work for a change. And such a simple task, snuffing out the lighthouse flame. I mean, um, CV is the ending of words. Oh, that was easy. I put a sleeping draught in the ale they ordered for Watch Captain Bethes' birthday. The guards were unconscious within the hour. I hope I can be of service again. For the Tribunal. Unfortunately, the wreck of the vessel provided no additional clues. Were you able to discover anything during your investigation? The young woman who works with the grocer. I doubt the tribunal would ask her to do something so reckless. Do you have any proof other than her word? Hmm, this is disturbing. This parchment feels just like the sheets that Governor O'Melian special orders from High Rock. I'm going to need you to acquire another sample from the Governor's office. It's the only way to be certain. Not the office. He keeps it in his private quarters, accessed through the guardhouse. But I'd never suggest that you sneak into his quarters and steal a blank sheet of his special parchment. That would be against the law. Do you understand me?
back again. So tell me, you didn't do anything unlawful now, did you? That's odd. We haven't done a search of Fire Moth Island since Governor O'Melian declared that the House Guard was better used patrolling farther up the coast. And these parchment sheets definitely match. This is very disturbing. What I think doesn't matter. We need evidence. But we also need to launch a rescue. Slavery is illegal in packed territory. It's time to visit Fire Moth Island. Hopefully, somewhere along the way, we'll find more proof of Governor O'Melian's ties to all of this. Attack before the soldiers have been assembled? That's not a prudent course of action. We need to muster our forces, make plans and contingencies, unlock the armory. What was that? That's a distress signal, and it came from Fire Moth Island. No time to prepare. We have to rescue the slavers' prisoners. Soldiers, to the ships! We sail for Fire Moth Island! My eternal thanks.
Free, thanks to you. I owe you one. What I was done for. My associate will be here soon. Patience, Governor. I informed the Governor that the captives we rescued from Firemoth Island are safe and sound. Do you have anything you'd like to add? This note, along with the other evidence you uncovered, clearly implicates the Governor as working with the slavers. Well done. You have provided a great service to Sedanine. I'll take it from here. Well, I suppose we're done here. I have a silt strider waiting. No. Governor O'Melian, I am placing you under arrest for promoting slavery in packed territory. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? You have no proof. A note on your parchment, which led to the sabotage of the lighthouse and a shipwreck off our coast. A letter naming you as the slaver captain's partner. Do you deny your involvement? That proves nothing. I'll have you hanged for this. Documents you request, Deputy Governor. And your report to Vivek City claiming Firemoth Island to be free of slaver activity, written before we eradicated the slaver base. Delves, you can't believe these blatant lies about me. My duty is clear. Traitor. Secure him. Yes, Governor Sal.
What is it? Yes. Hello. What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Going for a walk? This one often walks. Around here, I mean. Nervous? Me? Ha! Do not make this one laugh. Halin here is just... just horrible. Bandits kicked this one out of his home and stole his crops. Halin here is just a simple farmer, you see. They will make me a starving pauper. You will help? Oh, bless you. This one planted his crops in a cavern nearby. Saint Sipilu, please, retrieve my notes and poison the water. Without proper irrigation, the plants will wither. It pains me to kill them, but these bandits must not prosper. You are a true hero, Walker. A brave and noble warrior. Falora and I are forever in your debt. Hmm? Sorry, I was just... Uh... Hey! You and I have the same belt buckle. I am sorry. This one is a nervous wreck. Halingir is growing a rare Kajiti herb. Very delicate and very desirable. Good for seasoning fish and soothing the humors. Satisfied? Do not worry, Walker. You can depend on Halingir. Falora is this one's loyal farmhand. She is not very bright, and she is very lazy, always scribbling notes and asking silly questions. But I keep her on anyway. Halingir always does right by his friends. I could, but this one likes Falora. Plus, she probably knows too much. Oh, uh, she knows too much about... My farming practices, yes. Halingir has many secret farming tricks, like using fish heads and guar dung for fertilizer. But this one has already said too much, yes? Mm hmm? Sorry, I was just... Uh... Hey! I am sorry. This one...
Come see for yourself. Buying, selling, I've got All manner of goods for sale. I can't believe they want us to go outside the house to find Vea. Ha! 
house Talvani still keeps slaves? How else do those lazy mages accomplish anything? But what about the pact? Has Talvani stayed out of the pact? The wizards have no interest in mainland wars. I mean, why doesn't the pact have to stop to? Would you like to tell the all powerful mages to stop playing? Elves, please, if you just listen. Take care of yourself, Father. Which one? Elves, please, if you just listen. Take care of yourself, Father. Which one? You look like the traveling sort. In your excursions, have you perchance come upon a young dark elf named Vale? She went missing a couple of weeks ago and her father desperately seeks any information regarding her whereabouts. That's a shame. Her father, Eris, the house counselor here in Balmora, promises that anyone who can find his daughter and return her safely to his side will be well rewarded. You should speak to Councillor Eris. He's opened the Kin House to interview potential recruits. Freelancers, as it were. If you're interested, go speak to the Councillor. Along. Councillor Eris can be found at the Redoran Kin House, and do hurry. He's ever so troubled by our failure to locate young Vea. If he finds. I have no issue with Councillor Eris seeking help. It's where he's decided to get that help that concerns me. House Redoran doesn't need outsiders to take care of its business. But who am I to question a house counselor? <sighs> How can anyone not know about House Redoran? Is this some sort of outlander ruse? Well, in that case, Redoran is the grandest of the great Dunmer houses. We champion the virtues of duty and piety. And we have a proud military tradition. Our house comes first in all things. I don't understand why Eris seeks outside help. Councillor Eris Relith oversees Redoran operations in Balmora and the surrounding countryside. He's very influential, very powerful. Usually, the councillor doesn't allow his passions to get the better of him. But Vea is his daughter, after all. If I knew what happened to the Councillor's daughter, I wouldn't be talking to you now, would I? As far as we can tell, she left of her own accord. There wasn't any foul play involved that we're aware of. Beyond that, you'd have to ask the Councillor. Perhaps you can aid me. I'm in need of a strong set of legs, Traveler. And you look like one capable of protecting yourself. I have an obligation to my family. No, a duty of utmost importance. But I have grown too feeble to fulfill it. If you would take this memory stone to the few places of significance in my life, I will pay you well. It allows one to archive memories for future generations. I hope to do this for my children who have grown estranged. Invoke my stone at the locations I've marked on your map, and the memories I wish to archive will manifest. I thank you for your aid. Fewer than ever are willing to aid their elders in these troubled times. Now I suppose the distance with my children is my fault, not theirs. It is a rare gem. Once, long ago, Redguard warriors carried them into battle. One of the most famous was a sword singer in the First Age, McKenna Lecky. No historians will cherish my thoughts, certainly. But perhaps my children will come to in time. I purchased it from my master, Drenham, a Telvanni mage of middling repute. I have served him for... Ah, yes. Mills. My son has never really forgiven me for never being here for them. He's a stranger in my own home. 
No. If anything, it's the other way around. Even Naria has grown accustomed to my absence. Naria less than Mills, but both my children grew up largely on their own. My duties to Master Drenim consumed a great deal of my time. Mills especially grew up with Naria and no one else. He despises me, and I don't blame him. You'll know soon enough, as will they, I hope. I failed them as a father, but they are safe, aren't they? I kept them safe. I cannot travel with you, but I have attuned this stone to my soul. When you use it at the locations I've marked, it will summon... Come see for yourself. House Lalu? Wonderful folk and fair and honest merchants to the last. House Redrin? Brave and noble, not a bad apple in their basket. I love seeing new faces. For a while, it was just the same old miners and the occasional traveling merchant. Thought Carillon might have to shut this place down. Look at me talking your ears off. What can I get you? 
At first, I assumed it was the usual house squabbles. Redran and Lalu arguments can get pretty heated. Then I thought maybe the Ashlanders were scaring people off. But after that proclamation... No, I'd rather not talk about that with a stranger. I like the color of your gold, Outlander. Just between us, I heard the house guard shut down the Shulk Ore Mine. Something to do with violent cultists who attacked the miners and took over the place. Even got the crew chief, or so I heard. Don't cause trouble. Hello there. Is this on straight? Outlander, I have a proposition for you. So I was right. You're a sword for hire. Excellent. My name is Marlo Reithen of House Lalu, and I have a proposition for you. I need someone to investigate what's going on in the Vasia Didanat ebony mine. Piqued your interest, have I? Capital. My brother Benar and I share ownership of the mine, but I suspect he's hiding something from me. The little weasels even locked down the entrance. Only his personal guards are allowed inside. There are only two keys to the mine. Benar keeps one in our manor house. The other is carried by the mine's foreman, Knox. I want you to procure a key, either one, and then search the mine for any sign of mischief. Report back with your findings. Foreman Knox is somewhere in Balmora. Should be simple enough to pluck the key from his pockets. Or, if you prefer burglary, you could take my brother's key from the desk in his study. Our man is just up the hill to the west of town. My dear brother prefers to keep our roles in the business separate. He... Oh, I have, but Benner tells me nothing. It's just secure more buyers and... Fire. You haven't heard the rumors? The cursed mine of Vasia Didanot, they call it. They go in, but they don't come out. Just inane ghost stories, truth be told. 
But if the rumors persist, it could soil our reputation. Well, the mine has underperformed for years. I'd actually considered selling it. Until recently, that is. Ebony has been pouring out of the mine these past few months. Now, normally, I'd be overjoyed, but that's also when Benner became distant. Anything out of the ordinary. I don't suppose you'd know the difference between pure ebony and... Never mind. Just give the mine a good look and keep an eye out for mischief. If you find anything odd, bring it back with you. I, I have many important clients that depend on the success of this mine. They'll hold me personally responsible if anything isn't correct. I'd like to avoid that kind of unpleasantness. Well, the key should be no trouble. My brother is away at the moment, and the house guards are not exactly the keenest. If you choose to pickpocket the foreman, well, just avoid the city watch, I suppose. That's the rub. The mine is well guarded. My brother insisted that I hire only the rowdiest and most ill-tempered mercenaries, so I brought on the Iron Hound Company. I can vouch for their pugnacity. I'd prefer to avoid bloodshed, of course, but I don't want to tip my brother off. If he is up to something, I'll need deniability to maintain the element of surprise. Besides, they're mostly criminals, drunks, and skooma addicts. Expendable, yes? House Talvani still keeps slaves? How else do those lazy mages accomplish anything? But what about the pact? House Talvani stayed out of the pact. The wizards have no interest in mainland wars. I mean, why doesn't the pact put a stop to it? Would you like to tell the all-powerful mages to stop playing with their toys? Apologize now for what happens later. Ow! Stupid dog! What happened? Let me see. I just tried to pet it. Damn dog bit me. Leave it alone. There's something strange about that dog. You shouldn't be here. Didn't you read the House Redoran proclamation? I wouldn't be here myself, but. Some of my miners are still in there. Our mine was invaded by violent cultists. They showed up and, and just took the place over. My people are trapped. I'm no expert, but it looked like the cultists were preparing to conduct a ritual before the Ashlander interrupted them. Probably because I heard one of them say, with this ritual, we'll call forth a mystical weapon and attain the power of a god. Or something along those lines. Look, I was just trying to get me and my miners out of there when the Ashlander showed up. Well, I, I never actually saw an Ashlander. But I heard a cultist yell, Ashlander thief, that's our mystical weapon. That's not an exact quote, but you get the idea. I don't know what happened after that. It used to be an ore mine, and we hope it will be again. 
My crew was inside, preparing to start up mining operations when the cultists attacked. The way things are going, we might just have to turn the place into another Kwama egg mine. Really? That's awfully brave of you. If you see any of my miners, tell them to get their arses out here. I'll wait as long as I can. Or until I hear screaming. Then I'll go to Balmora and try to find some help. Good luck.
Did you find what you were looking for in the mine? Of course. I perfectly understand. Uh, I think I'll wait a little longer and see if any... Dark elves have unusual taste. Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? My daughter has been gone too long, and the house guard can't seem to find a wall in the corner. But why should I trust you with this task? Tell me, Outlander, how can you succeed when my forces continue to fail time and time again? An interesting insight. Perhaps you can find my daughter. Vea can handle herself, but the father worries, you understand? Vea fled after a family disagreement. She's run away before, but I'm concerned that she might have something more permanent in mind this time. Captain Briven oversees the house's attempt to locate my... He's... The moron. Someone of no consequence. <laughs> 